But another step is to actually go inside your brain. Yeah. Uh, and there are some prototypes where you can connect your brain. They actually don't have the, the amount of bandwidth that we need. They can work, but they work fairly slowly. So if, if it actually would connect to your neocortex, and the neocortex, which I described in How to Create a Mind, uh, the neocortex is actually, uh, it has different levels. And as you go up the levels, it's kind of like a pyramid. The top level is fairly small. And that's the level where you want to connect uh, these brain extenders. Just the way this is greatly amplified by being connected to the cloud, uh, we can connect our own brain to the cloud. Do you think it would look like uh, the brain computer interface uh, of like Neuralink? So would it be? Well, Neuralink is an attempt to do that. It doesn't have the bandwidth that we need. Um, Yet, right? Right. And the serpent said unto the woman, Ye shall not surely die. There are a couple of other elements that you think are necessary to get to the singularity. One is the rise of nanobots, and the other is the rise of brain-machine interfaces. And both of those have gone more slowly than AI. If we could try things out without having to test it, it would go a lot faster. I mean, that's the reason it goes slowly. We want to increase the amount of intelligence that humans can command, so we have to be able to marry the best computers with our actual brain. So we're moving into the future. We have exponential growth computer. We solve a way of, you know, ideally figuring out how to communicate directly with your brain to speed things up. Explain why nanobots are essential to your vision of where we're going. Well, if you really want to tell what's going on inside the brain, uh, you've got to be able to go at, at the level of uh, the particles in the brain so we can actually tell what they're doing. All right, so we're pushing ahead. We've got nanobots. They're running around inside of our brain. They're understanding our head. They're extracting thoughts. They're inputting thoughts. And they're extracting thoughts, they're inputting thoughts. This in, this in the Matrix, you could learn to fly an air, uh, in a helicopter um, just by downloading the right software. Can you fly that thing? Not yet. Operator. Tank, I need a pilot program for a D212 helicopter. Hurry. Uh, Let's go. And it's not like we get to the end of this. And say, so, okay, this is finally what the singularity is all about. And people can do certain things and they can't do other things, but it's over. We'll never get to that point. I mean, this curve is going to continue.